Hello students, welcome back to the new session. So let's start with the quick revision. In the last class, I told you three things. One, the line dimensioning. So for distance for objects other than the horizontal and vertical straight lines, you can use aligned dimensions for lines at angles or for, for a distance, like for example, in this figure, the distance between the two circles. So you can specify for the accurate measurement, accurate distance between the two points. So the line dimension tool will be the right tool to specify the distance at such angles. Okay. Then arc line dimensioning. So you can specify dimensioning of arcs as well. If it, it is uh, greater than the 90 degree at its center. It will also show a leader, otherwise it will just show the arc symbol and the text. That is the dimension of your arc. Okay. And then I told you about the rotated dimension, which I have also discussed in the previous previous module. The dimension line can also be rotated at, at a particular angle specified by you. Okay. Then you use dim line. So today I'll cover two tools. One is baseline dimensions and second is continuum. For this you can go to refer in annotate tab dimensions. A slight change rather than dimension drop down you have to go to in continue drop down menu. Okay. And there you will find baseline. In menu bar and toolbar same dimension tab you will find baseline. In command line you can type dim baseline completely or dim base. Yes. Four. The four words of Baseline. Okay. Now, what is baseline dimensioning? Baseline dimensioning is basically a tool which will help you majorly when you have to specify various parts with the reference. Like, for example, if I talk about architecture, we make elevations. Okay. Now, in elevations, we have different level of heights. So, with the reference of one height, yeah, definitely you have to have a baseline. Baseline means base point. So you have to have a reference line. So you have, you should already have a one linear line or one angular aligned dimension line for any tool which you have used, ordinate, aligned or linear. One line should be there. According to that particular line, the first point which you have used for drawing that line, the first base point, with the help of that base point, you can just Go on clicking on different levels of your height and show all the elevated heights of your elevation. Same way, if I talk about mechanical, we have mechanical parts. So in manufacturing, you have, you can show, you can locate different points of a particular part with the reference of a fixed point. Like for example, you can see here, I'll show you in CAD. You have one linear Dimension here P1 to P2 with this baseline, that is the base point would be this, the first P1, and baseline would be P1 to P, uh, P2. With this help, I can just go on clicking. So it will always start from this side, and the second point, I have to just specify the second point and go on clicking. I'll show you how. For example, I have a line here. Okay. And I have few rectangles. I am not measuring the rectangles. Okay. Like a bar graph, for example. Okay. So I have a figure like this. Now I have to dimension it. The first dimension which I'll do is linear. Make sure your base point is correct because if I select this as my first point and this as my second point, my base point would be this. I'll show you both the methods. First, I'll show you this is my first point, this is my second point. So this is my, so I'll copy this to show you the second method as well. Okay. Now, I've taken this. As my baseline. Now I'll go to 
in dimension panel in this continue drop down menu and select baseline see it has automatically taken the base point the last base point which i had drawn or you can go to select and choose your baseline as well okay you can go to select and select the base dimension this is my base dimension if you have another one you can select the other okay i'll just go on clicking the second point see if i have one more for example here i can just click see on a particular spacing by default it is showing various heights of my object i have just i have used a baseline reference the base point is my baseline here and it, it is just showing me the various heights by just one point very easy to showcase your elevations or your different parts right so very easy to but remember one thing as i said autocad is using different variables so here in with this there is a variable known as dim dim continue mode completely right continue completely mode system variable when it is set to 0 the dimension created by using the dimension this baseline tool will be based on the current dimension style you will be learning the dimension style in the later on modules maybe the next module or the next rex module okay but if you set the value as 1 the dimensions will be created based on the selected dimension option okay remember this when the value is 0 by default it is 0 so it will be as per the current dimension style which you have set for your drawing but if the value of that variable that is dim dim continue mode is 1 then it will take the style of the selected baseline if the selected baseline is also in the same style then there is no problem okay in some of the previous versions you are not able to edit the text of your baseline you won't be able to edit the text which you have uh, which are there in your dimension text used done by baseline tool but like i'm using 2020 so it is possible for me so we fixed okay you can select i can underline see For few versions back, there is uh, maybe 2018 or previous versions, it was not possible. But now it is possible in the new versions. Okay. So I hope you are clear with baseline I'm mentioning. Now coming to the next tool. Please don't get confused between baseline and continue. There is a major difference. I'll tell you first how to invoke this tool. Same in ribbon. Go to Annotate tab, Dimensions. In Continue drop-down menu, you get Continue. In Menu Bar and Toolbar, you find in Dimension and Command Line. You can type DIM Continue or DIM C O N T. Okay. Now, basically, Continue tool helps you in creating like linear dimensions in a continuous manner, or I would say, uh, in a incremental manner. Like for example, if I have for this also, you have to have one linear Dimension. So if I have this dimension, I can just go on continuing. Like for example, if we make make layouts, so we have first first point. Like I have shown a nine inches wall. So now every difference with the like I want to give a dimension for furniture, then the space between the two furniture, then another furniture. So I can go or I have different parts or I have a figure like this. So I can go on. Continuing my dimensions. See, so I have one linear dimension, so I can continue. So it will st start from the end point of the first point. Okay. In this also, I have to just specify one point, not two points. Okay. The difference is here the base point is the first point which I specified, so it is start. Telling the distance between these two points, so I'm not getting the difference. Uh, the it, I'm not getting the dimension of P two to P three. I'm getting the dimension of P one to P three. 
But here in, I am getting the dimension of P1 to P2, P2 to P3, P3 to P4. If I have used baseline, so I will get the difference of P1 to P3, P1 to P4. So the distance would be from P1 itself. That is 0.1 itself. Do you get me? Okay. So I will show you in the same In the same example, first I'll show you this. Yes, I also I'll also tell you about the base point which I'm talking about the base uh, base point. If I change the base point, okay, then I'll show you first understand the continuum. Now, for example, I have a linear. I have this. Yes, no linear. Shape. Okay. Now I want to. Use continue method. See, when I click here, this is a method of continuation. If I use baseline, see, now baseline is taking the last point which I have clicked. This was the last point which I had made. So I'll go to select, I'll select this as my point. So for now, base point. So see the difference. As per the baseline, the distance is taken from this point itself. So when I clicked on this point, the distance shown is four feet eight inches. For this eight feet ten inches. For this eleven feet twelve inches. But I'm not getting the distance. Between these two points and this point. For this, I have used continue. In continue, it is showing me each and every aspect of all my rectangles. 1 feet 11 inches, from this to this 2 feet 10 inches, from this to this 4 feet 1 inches, from this to this 2 feet 5 inches. The so total is 11 feet 2 inches. So you, now you get the difference. If you want to continue measuring, then use the continue method. If you want from a particular base point or reference point, you can use the baseline method. So make sure to select the correct baseline, the base point. Otherwise, it will take the last point which you had drawn in your drawing. So I hope you are clear both the methods. Now, before ending the session, yes, there is an assignment. So here in same. The distance, uh, the spacing of your grid is 0 0.5. So taking distance, count the grids, make this figure and copy the figure two times. On one you can use baseline, one you can use continuous. Or if you can apply both of them here, it's up to you. Okay, try to show this. Okay, that's all. In the next session, we'll do a quick regression and we'll be learning how to create angular dimensions and the different methods included in these angular dimensions. Okay. Thank you students.